Hey guys, it's Erica. Kingdom comeback. Um, we, this is Song Ton. I think it's Ascension, and I think this is the Korea time period. This is part four. Um, so very, very excited to be checking this out. Probably out of every, all of their previous um, comebacks, including their debut. I'm probably most familiar with Korean history. Um, so uh, I don't know if that'll help me or hurt me here, but I'm very, very excited to check this out because they always have killer, stunning, amazing visuals, and I really like their sound overall, and I like how kind of consistent all their title tracks are, because not everybody is consistent in these streets. So, yes, very excited, so you know what it let go. Oh, maybe I should turn off subtitles. This is a great, like, intro, though. Okay, cool logo. Oh! Oh, he's wearing me! Interesting. I wasn't expecting... The colorful humbles? Ooh. I mean, of course they're gonna be in front of a palace. Okay. I like to see where it's the red light with the teal. I like the color combination, but I like it. Oh, oh, are those the? I forgot those are called. But it's cool to see like stuff that's like traditional Korean dance also incorporated into this this sort of Korean concept. Those hummocks are dope. It's also cool choreography wise. It's cool to hear the traditional instruments. Okay. That all this scene also looks really great. They said no, girl. They said no. Dragon? What? Oh, is this the next one? Or the castle? Poisoned? Which king was poisoned? I don't know history like that, girl. <laughs> oh!
Is it taken from a specific story? Because well, that that end would make sense. It probably is taken from a specific story, and it, it, I mean, clearly it's taken from a specific time period. Uh, but maybe I should have done my research there beforehand, and then I have better knowledge what to talk about. Uh, but that was very, very cool. I like hearing the traditional instruments, but kind of different than how we've um, heard in other sort of. Well, their thing is all about doing the historical sort of concepts with each member having it their era. You know what I mean? Uh, but we've had a handful of. Um, just K-pop comebacks that have had traditional elements or just kind of like straight up traditional um, concepts and stuff like One Us I think was one where I think sound was very very similar um, or one you would kind of like go to not with they have multiple actually um, so let me find the right the name of the right um, one from One Us so we don't um, make Luna I believe right It is Luna, and that was very loud, and I apologize. Um, but yeah, so that was very, very cool. So we have, a ha we do have like a handful of stuff to um, go off of here, but I liked what they did. I wasn't expecting them to wear the the pretty kind of like pastel hanboks. Um, that was very interesting, but I, I kind of liked it though. It was very contrasting to what the like night scenes were about, uh, which was probably the point of it. Um, but it was very, very cool, visually stunning as always. Very, very cool. Just the scale of like what they do. I think what was really, really cool to me. It's like when they are there at those night sort of scenes with the fire in the palace the different parts of the palace and stuff like that um that just how wide it is and all these dancers that you see and all that other stuff has it been executed better in the past with them yeah for sure um uh, but those parts definitely stood out for me uh, so they are kind of changing up their music video formula just a little bit um and they are changing up the sound formula just a little bit um, but yeah, so I would have just sort of had a like more emphasis on those dancing scenes to just make them so just feel just like grander and bigger and stuff like that. But um, I thought it was very, very cool. And maybe, you know, those a lot of their budget went to those performance sections of the choreography for the music videos as um, and the edits themselves. So it was kind of nice to get more like beauty cut type stuff. Um, for the music video itself, choreography looked great. I love seeing um, the tradition. The, it's something where they do wear the sleeves um, coming down off. That's like a traditional Korean dance, but I think they wear the mask with it. Um, so, yeah, I believe so, right? Am I wrong there? I could be very, very wrong. Um, but yeah, but it was sort of nice to see that incorporated into this because it's something that was just like traditional part of dance and. I feel like the other stuff had gone with their just like concepts and I don't know if the, the cloth fans were like part of like traditional, they think it was a China concept, right? So I don't know if that definitely tied into like historical Chinese dance styles and stuff like that. Um, but I know that that specifically is traditionally Korean. Um, so that was very cool to see. Of course they're gonna film on the palace and the village. Um, so that was really, really dope just overall to see and just overall very solid comeback from them. Um, but I think like I think also that what kind of does work against them a little bit for this one is we've seen a handful of different traditional Korean concepts um, within the last few years to also go off of and also base off of. So in a way, it doesn't feel unique, but it is very much a part of their comeback and their concepts. So if you are like watching this and you don't know their like previous stuff and this is like your first time checking them out, it's probably very just like weird for them. But it goes for what their concept is like going for. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like a little interesting sort of case there, um, which I wouldn't have expected to run into, even though I knew they were doing a Korean concept or Korea, um, uh, yeah, Korea concept um, for their um, comeback and stuff. I didn't, I it didn't pass through my mind about the all the other ones that are traditional Korean concepts uh, for different K-pop groups, but I think it definitely worked for. It. I think it was cool. So yes, I just also like. They have the very pastel imagery and then also their outfits are just like black and white and even the other dancers outfits are black and white. So I would have liked to see a little bit more color there. Um, just and I think it also would have tied in those pastel scenes the, with, the, with the pastel home books a little bit more easier and stuff. Um, but yeah. But other than that, I, I, do I have anything else? The song was great too as well. They ate the notes. That was very, very cool to hear them just eat up all these high notes and stuff, girl. Um, and, and the sound was, again, very cool to hear sort of traditional Korean instruments and elements of songs that uh, we haven't heard a whole lot of before. Um, when you normally get the these types of concepts. 
in comebacks, if that makes sense. Not like completely unheard of, uh, but not not what we normally hear. So that was very cool. Go to your thoughts in the comments down below what you thought about Kingdom's Ascension. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me, if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, or description down below. Or at the end screen, share this video to your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.